TD, I wanted the TD-15, but I guess the TD-20 I'll have to do. How'd it go? Hey, boss. I think. Went good. What do we want to do? We want to put it right next to that track loader there. Hey. What? What, what do you think? Did it exceed your expectations? Well, we'll see. What are the odds? Something's got to be wrong with it. Is it the final drives are stripped out? The motor bad? I don't know. Torque converter? Or are we going to get lucky? Uh, once every 30 years, you told <laughs> yeah. me that yeah. you get lucky. So. so this machine, unfortunately, has an always applied brake. And right now, she's dead. We got to get her off. So I believe we got to get way back in here and get grease in the tow ports on the valve body way back there. And what that'll do is that'll release the brakes for us. Can we go your way? Yeah. So you actually saw them, they lifted this thing up? Oh yeah. Unbelievable. It's big wrecker on each end. Oh, two wreckers? Yeah. Wow. And then you and then what you just backed underneath backed it? Backed right under it. Wow. You got your That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I said oh, if the tracks were painted yellow, you'd think it'd come right off the thimble. I know, the tracks look nice. Amazing. Tracks look nice. How All you doing right. there? I think I'm good. I need the grease gun. Well, yeah, right, right, right. right. Maybe once in a once in a hundred years you get lucky. See that big oh. mat right there? We take that off, flip it around, and you put it over that. Oh, that is what that. Yeah. yeah. I what it was for, and I said, I don't know. So if you want, if you'd rather we do that, then we can do that. If you think the Michigan will pick the blade. I don't think it will. I don't either. Ah, there she goes. Ooh. Oh, all right. Oh, boy, we don't have to, you know, we could probably use the blade on the TD-8 even, maybe. Uh, we gotta pick it up an inch. Yeah, no, I think, let's get the, I'll get the machine over in a minute. I can move it, but you want to go in there and pull up on the hydraulic, or oh, if you put it in float, will that work? <laughs> Boy, I wish I could get more middle on it. You're picking the whole machine. Oh. Move the side to side. What? Side to side. All right. Move it. Oh, yeah. The yeah. There you go. More? Yeah. Let kiss. More. There, there. She's on. Yep. You got her? Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Let me see if I can get the other side. Thank you. 
you right off there. Wow, that's amazing. Going good? I can't believe it. Give me some signals. Yeah, it's, it's not moving at all. I know. Is the grease? What's that? Did we lose our pressure? Maybe a little, not much. It's just stuck on the. Yeah. Well, right on the trailer. What if, uh, hey, what if I get on the other side and we just try and push it? I try and lift on the blade too. Oh, you could do that. It yeah. might work. Yeah. Not bad. Or, I mean, we could get yeah, someone get in the Kubota the too. Kind of pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that, huh? Try that.
I'll tell you the sound of that TD8 grunting that motor working like that, it's a beautiful thing. Give me chills, almost, almost made me cry. All right, so this is our new TD20E. Um, got a call, said, hey, I got a dozer. It's a big one, it's gonna go to scrap. Are you interested in it? Um, of course I was. So the deal was, it came from kind of a high security place. So no pictures, no videos. I was able to go there and look at it just for a couple minutes, um, but I wasn't able to mess with it. So what do I know about it? I know the undercarriage looks good. I know it's got about 2,100 hours. Um, Physically, it looks like it's in good shape. I could roll the engine over uh, by grabbing the fan. That's it. The story is, as it always is, ran one part, so. She actually looks like she might be a good one, and the price was amazing on it, because um, she was probably gonna go to scrap, so. I gotta go home. I got two hours to go, and it's like five o'clock. Luke's gonna try and sleep. It's gonna be a nightmare. Uh, but, we'll see. We'll see if she runs next time. Well, here we are, Christmas Eve morning, back at the TD20E. So obviously, we weren't looking for another project. We've got the motor out of that one, and the that one, the engine's running, but the tranny and the torque converter, we have to rebuild, we just got some parts, so we have our hands full, but sometimes when an opportunity presents itself, you have to, you have to strike. I'll tell you, I have to admit, and maybe Tyler got it right this time. I don't know about these sprockets. Boy, they look like brand new underneath here. I hate to turn this around, but I can't feel any wear on those. It's like they're brand new. Front idler. Looks like there's no wear on it. Amazing. We'll see. I mean, even the blade, the cutting edge, I mean, it looks, doesn't look very worn. These pins, they don't look slopped out or anything. Cooper. Mmm. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas Day, 2023. We're gonna see what Luke thinks of his. Right, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Christmas present. <laughs> He's overwhelmed. A couple more years and he'll get it, I think. Oh, you want to see? Wow. Luke wants to see in there. You want to come up here? So the batteries say June of 2018, so, and they're, I mean, good come on to batteries, so, completely dead right now. It's not charging, but I think it would be, oh, yeah, see, that's amazing. Ah, uh, of course. making you laugh. All right, I'm not sure if that's working. Um, I'll leave that sit on the supply and then I'll just pull the batteries. We got a pair of brand new uh, interstate batteries and the 977 with the rake. So I'll pull those out, just bring those home and charge them. Um, but the other thing I wanna do is just look at the fluids quick, cause I don't think there's gonna be much we need to do this to try and crank it once we get some batteries. So I did spend like maybe 20 minutes with this machine before it got dropped off, but 
just to show you guys. Look at the, that's the trans fluid, I guess. I'm not sure if there's a trans anator converter. Uh, I think that's it. And that looks amazing. So, hydraulic fluid. Looks good, it's just a sight to go. It's pressurized. Wide eye. That's amazing, it's still pressurized after all this time. Fluid looks good and I believe it's got a lot of diesel fuel in it too. Wow. I'm squirming around. So you can see on there. Yeah. Just a little bit of diesel fuel at the bottom. That's good. Whoa, where are you going? Engine oil looks good. Does it say full? Does it buy the full? I think so. Where's the hole, Luke? And then it's low on antifreeze, so we'll put some antifreeze in it. I already checked that. So, all right, it's Christmas. We're just kind of farting around. But we're gonna charge the batteries up and then after that happens, we'll see if she cranks. Go back. Lift with your back. Go on. Get in there. Go on. Go on. Get in there. Go oh on. My goodness. There you go. It is. It's like armor. Just be careful. Yeah, I know. No, I, I don't have a plan now. Maybe, uh, maybe you need to set it on there first and get in there. That's what I did to get them out, maybe. <laughs> you think you got it now? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Surely it's gonna take more than this. Ah, uh, you never know. Come on. It's not showing yet? No. <laughs> the radiator's five feet wide. I know, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. You are saying there's no preheater, huh? No. Really? Well, I think it actually is showing a little bit. All right, so it's only maybe two and a half oh. gallons low. Do you shoot ether into it? Is there some place over there? Well, there's a, it came with an ether injection. Boy, just like the TDA. Yeah, huh? just like the TDA. Had. So if we, if we put ether in the, uh, in the air cleaner, it probably won't do any good. It's probably gonna take a long time. Hey, you're getting ahead. Let's just. Well, you know. See if it rolls over. Getting a little low. Yikes. We each donated a screwdriver to the cause. One on each side, so we need to get it started in order to get those back, because unless we have a 977, I don't think anything's lifting that thing off. All right, so we got our plugs back in. Um, so this, to me, everyone thinks it's a winch. To me, it looks like a cable controller for a pan scraper, just because it's got like two individual drums, maybe. But someone will let us know in the comments, so. So the back of the machine, everything looks good back here. Checked our fuel and our hydraulic oil. That looks good. Look at the grousers on this thing. So what we think, it's got AIS stickers on it and it's got a fresh paint job. So I kind of think, and what the story was a little bit was that, you know, like the OEM dealer kind of had just gone through it. Um, 
and then they parked it, right? So that's crazy. It's got an 11 foot wide blade, which actually is probably a little bit small for this machine, but it trailers pretty nice. It's got a DVT 800 turbocharged uh, V8 International diesel in it. So this engine's kind of problematic. You can't really rebuild it. So we'll see, um, hopefully she runs because that could be really depressing. Up in the cab here, put our batteries in. Disconnect switch has been bypassed for some reason. Um, then up here it operates just like our TD8. You've got a three speed forward, three speed reverse power shift. That's your throttle right there. So it's got, uh, we believe, a two speed uh, steering system. So you pull the lever back halfway right there and it'll slow the side down and then you pull it back all the way and it'll stop it. Um, oh, 2,696 hours, I misspoke. Other than that, that might be ether injection. That's what the old internationals always had. So I don't know. Hey, ask the viewers, why is there brake parts cleaner in the cab? Is that uh, I guarantee you that's all they had on hand. Starting they're, fluid? They're trying to start it with Is that a good fluid. idea or a bad idea? Here, I'll get down. You gotta get in the cab. Which one's the decelerator? Your left one? Left one. one. Yeah. Alright, just wanna have a backup plan here. What do you guys think? Was it parked for a reason or was it just unfortunate circumstance? <laughs> so I'd probably just try and bump it over first, don't you think? A second the throttle. So it should be off right now, I think. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. That's yep. all the way up. Yep, yep. Well, I'll put it uh, in the middle and I'll, I got my foot on the decelerator. So I don't think there's an on switch at all, is there? Oh, man. Brake lock. What is this? It's probably lights, lights. or something. Yeah. No, there can't, there probably isn't. This should be off. I mean, you gotta just see if it bumps over. All right, here we go. You know what happens? Nothing. Huh. Classic. <laughs> they got that bypass, right? I believe so, yeah. I guess we'd probably need a voltmeter. Yes, we probably do. Oh boy, where's the starter? <laughs> well, we'd have to check, yeah. Great, V8. We'd have to check this first, probably right here. What? This. Some wiring? Yeah. Let's see, this should be the main solenoid right here. Oh, the heater works. So we know we're getting battery voltage. Look at the rain. Beautiful. I can hear a safety switch right there. Our safety switch is not the issue. See that? 0.3 ohms. Break it. No reading. All right, so I checked the voltage here, and I'm getting voltage to the one side, uh, but it's like the solenoid's not tripping. So let me, when he pushes the starter button, so I'm going to tap on it. Try it. All right. Uh-oh, shit, it won't stop. Pull that wire off or something. What wire? Pull the battery off. Shit. Why the fuck won't it stop? Jeez. Damn. Why the hell won't it stop? Uh, I bet the solen I bet that little stupid solenoid. Oh, stuck? That solenoid's bad, don't you think? I don't know. Jeez. That's what I would suspect. Ah, sounds good. <laughs> Doesn't it? Rolls over good. Rolls over good. Well. Man, uh, good thing it didn't start. Yeah. What's Jesus. the starter stuck on? Ah. Uh, well, we got to. I can remove one side of that, right? Yeah, and then we and then I'll be have to touch that, and we'll and see. And we can see if the 
we can see if we can get the starters clicking or oh yeah oh it's it's not sparking all right lift your left foot up a little bit okay you can leave it on then right well i don't really have it on let me get it on a little better yeah that's one way to do it <sighs> i mean it'll come right off you sure yeah I, I think i can get it off no problem were we getting any smoke I have no clue the bucket was on it. Was your throttle on? Yeah, it's on halfway. Never a dull moment. Yeah, I got my blood pumping. All the things that could go wrong started spinning through my head. Yeah, it would be nice to have a uh, battery cutoff switch in that situation. Yeah. I guess we'll have to put one of those back on. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. You know what, that's a good idea for that reason alone. Dang. Okay. Now, you should be able to just you got hit the starter where's, switch. Oh, okay. And hold it? Well, what? Well, yeah, and no. then, <laughs> Yeah, but no, you got uh, you got the wire off the backside of solenoid, right? Yeah, I think that's the right one. Okay, so we want to see what's happening, right? Hold on a second first. Let me try this. Oh, solenoid's already stuck on. It's stuck on. Yeah. Ah, well that's good news. It's good news that it's not our starter down there. Yeah. A solenoid on that starter, you know? Do you, uh, I mean, do you want to touch the wire on this? I mean, I, mean, I can just. To see wait, it. hold on. Let me see if, uh, let me get ready in case I got to pull this off. All right, go ahead. Okay, excellent. 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 Do we have one? Probably. Or you want to, I mean, we can probably just do that. Just do too, it I like guess. that? Yeah. We can. Why not? You're all right, but yeah, it's not arcing bad or anything, is it? Just like an intermediate. Yeah. Woo! Got it in neutral. I guess it shouldn't work still. It is on oh, no, neutral. It will. Okay. We What's got your... the throttle on halfway. Your blade's in neutral or whatever. My blade is in neutral. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> That sounds great. No, that buzzing noise, you're humming there. What was that rattling? How is it going to start with no ether? Wait, didn't you hear that noise? No. I put... I know it now. We got good oil pressure. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got good oil pressure? Yeah, real good. What about your... You don't have any other pressure yet. Not yet. What do you want to do? I have no idea. Let it idle a minute? Yeah. You should be able to drop that right down, I think, right? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right there. Oh, man, that eye was perfect. Yeah. Wow. Didn't even take any ether. No. Can't believe it.
Wow. Wow, what a beast. <laughs> it's probably not fair, is it? It's huge. Oh, man. You're taking those trees down, you're just idling, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. Did you get some good footage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Man, look at that. One pet. I didn't realize I dug such a big dig a big hole. Well, any questions? Uh I'll think of something. What are we gonna do with it? Yeah, what are we gonna do with it? Uh but I guess the lesson for today is kind of Merry Christmas to us and sometimes you get lucky. Yeah. That's what I learned today. Not not often. 
Like, like your uncle said, you don't hit a home run every time, but we may have this time. Yeah, you gotta at least get up to bat. Right. Ah, uh, so that's it. I guess we got a TD20 for a pretty good bargain. I don't think mechanically, I mean, it sounds like a sweet machine. Um, so we got some stuff to do. So next time we'll service it. But right now, I think I might have a little bit of fun. Sweet. You want to show everyone the hole you dug with two passes, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. She has some nice I know. back here. I know. I I can't believe I, I went down that far. Interesting. Yeah, she's a... You got to fix that now. She's a beast. Yeah, good luck with that. So my dad just raised a very important question. How many golf carts? Golf carts, we got, look how many golf carts we got. Yeah, let me, I'll just keep going. How many would it take to pull that dozer off if it took the Michigan in? How much do they weigh a piece? Well, a gas one, maybe 500 pounds. I said 200. That'd be 100,000 pounds of golf carts pulling. We'd need 200 volunteers to drive them though. <laughs> We'll probably never yeah, find out. Ask the viewers. Yeah, yeah, but leave uh, leave your uh, your answer in the comments. Right. We'll, see. well, if they're electric cars, how much would that? Be? Well, those weigh a thousand pounds. Yeah, almost, they do. And they probably. have a little more torque, so. So and then we need half the amount of volunteers. Yeah, that's true. Maybe only hundred. I bet a hundred viewers would volunteer though to <laughs> yeah. try it. I guarantee it. Well